Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Thursday, July 24th, 2014. All right, yesterday's news, we had the EIA Petroleum Status Report at 1030, and basically I think that what it was trying to say was that uh, actually um, stockpiles or reserves are down a bit because of increased activity which they say is generally pretty good for the economy today we have jobless claims at 8:30 PMI manufacturing index flash new home sales anything else uh, I think that looks like that's about it that's it for today all right let's take a look at the futures around the world uh, in Asia we were almost bullish totally across the board, and in Europe, we are bullish all the way. Over here in the U.S., futures are looking up. Gold is four, down 470 overnight, and oil is down 29 cents overnight at 102.83. Okay, um, positions that I currently have didn't do a dang thing yesterday as far as trading is concerned. I did look at some things, but it looked uh, it was kind of weird with the Dow down and the S&P up. And it doesn't happen very often that way. But the Russell trade uh, looks like as though it's doing pretty good. We can take a look at the chart on that. That looks pretty safe for this week at the moment, provided we don't get any, you know, huge moves on there. And the one that has me sweating a bit is SPX. Probably should get out of it today. I don't see it uh, cooperating at all. It was a nice try, probably in it just a tad too long. Oh, uh, but sometimes they don't work out and then we have cell gene they have their earnings today after the market closes and like I mentioned whoa <laughs> didn't even look at this yesterday um, like I mentioned yesterday when we were doing this we are almost at max loss on this and max loss if we were to just look at one of them is here at 198 and we're at 191 so um, we're just gonna hang on and ride this one out and see what happens just because it's gapping up here you know there might be a lot of anticipation uh, you know I'm trying to rationalize this turning into a winning trade <laughs> I don't think it's gonna happen um, but after the market, they're looking for 76, almost 78 cents a share. And time will tell how that works out. I really don't have much else to say. Um, the news is interesting, you know, but the market pretty much is shrugging off what's happening in the rest of the world. So, let's move on and see what's going on here. All right, Apple had their earnings. They had a nice day yesterday. Uh, so we were looking for a target down here. Amazon. Let's see, they have their earnings aftermarket today as well in an uptrend. We're still looking for a target down here. Um, not sure that we may have to wait a while after earnings, maybe a cycle on the stochastic before we decide with whether Amazon is for real or not, depending on what their earnings say. If they have bad earnings, you know, or is, is that for real? Are people going to believe that? Are they still going to throw money at it? That is the question. 
Baidu. Also has earnings today. We had a target down here. We didn't get into it. Shame on us. We will be more diligent now that summer is more or less coming to an end. And earning season is ending. We're going to get into it hot and heavy. After. Okay, so we have to stand by on that one. Cell gene we already looked at. Chipotle is like the little rocket chip here. Here's the launching pad right along here. And up she goes. Ah, yes. Okay, so now Chipotle is deaf. Once you say that it's in an uptrend, I would, oops, I would say it's in an uptrend. So our next target is over here. And we'll see if it comes down and gives us an entry. Costco. All right, we were looking to do a, um, uh, trying to do an iron condor on this. I do want this just to move up a bit more. Looks like it kind of flaked out towards the end of the day yesterday. So we'll have to see uh, whether it gives us a little hook here and we can do the uh, uh, bear call side of an iron condor or just do a bear call all by itself. So that goes down on a 20 delta list. DJX, we'll just take a look at that. Yeah, it has, has a red candle here. Almost everybody else was green as we'll see yesterday but it still continues its march and the stochastic didn't hook let's see it gapped up a tad at the open and then had kind of a bad opening had the problems recovering from that but it looks like it may be recovering this might be a good time from price pattern perspective to jump in on this although usually when it does a pullback it has a couple of candles that are in the pullback but I think we're still in an upward trend here so I'd stay away trust what stochastic is saying and handle it that way and for gold and oh, we missed that one so now Actually, we're going to watch for one down here. And I'm putting that on the 20 Delta list. Okay. Google. Um, we're waiting for it to give us an entry down here. We have to wait a while on that one. LinkedIn, um, probably riding on the coattails of Facebook. I heard that Facebook kind of knocked it out of the park. I think I saw a headline about that. Don't follow Facebook, but LinkedIn being a social animal here, I uh, believe that uh, they did that. Let's see here. I think it's FB, right? Yeah, Facebook. And we have, yeah, they're looking for 26 cents and they actually got 42. So that was after the market. So we don't know what we're looking at today for Facebook. Let's peek here. Uh, last was 71. It looks like it's going to open at 75 this morning. And we have, uh, yeah, overnight. And had a nice move. Okay, so we were at LinkedIn. <laughs> Trying to remember what I need to get back to. And uh, LinkedIn, I'm saying it now is in an uptrend. So we're just going to move the target down here. Wouldn't you say that it's changed? We actually have a green indicator here on the 20 on the weekly chart green and green and it's bending up very nicely uh, we have earnings next week we'll have to 
keep that in mind. NASDAQ, NDX, definitely in an uptrend, looking for an entry down here. Nothing going at this time. Netflix. <sighs> Netflix. They, oh, no, don't tell me. Don't, and look at this. It doesn't even, it won't even like display here. Okay, hang on. All right, we're back. Hopefully it'll stay stable for the rest of the video. All right, we we're about to look at Netflix. Netflix, I don't know, I don't know what to do about them exactly here. Um, in theory, according to the methodology, we should be looking for a 50... No, we shouldn't because... Uh, we did not get the stochastic above not even 70. As a matter of fact, it just barely made it above 50. So this is not a candidate at this time. So we'll slide this over a little bit and we'll just keep an eye on it. You know, after earnings, you have to figure out what it's going to do. All right, uh, price line. I'm keeping my fingers crossed, ladies and gentlemen. All right, price line. I uh, should have jumped in on this. Didn't do it. Shame on me. Okay, so now let's look for another 20 delta up here. So we're we're primed for that right now. And it's on the list. Okay, uh, Russell. We already sort of looked at that one. Um, I think we're going to be okay. This is kind of a short-term trade. Got in, it, in on it on Tuesday and uh, expires on Friday. SPX, we looked at that one too. Let's go to Tesla. I was looking to get in on Tesla yesterday as a bear call. And when I looked at it in the morning, I was like, uh-uh, ain't doing it. Would have been a good time right about here at 11 o'clock yesterday to possibly get in on this with a bear call. But I'm not sure exactly how things were looking for that here. Oh, we actually had... Uh, yes. Yeah. We were looking at one here. But we have one day left. That's probably not enough there. Still could do something at 227.50, 227.50, which would be up right around here. Probably might be okay. Might be okay. Um, let's, I'm going to put it on the list and see w what becomes of it. Okay, and. Last but not least is Visa, and Visa has earnings tonight. So I have a lot of candidates, like four I think, on the A-plus list. And there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, uh, 4 out of 12 that have earnings announcements, period, at any time, are tonight. <laughs> so, there's going to be a lot of fireworks, probably. Should be interesting. Okay, so uh, we're going to close it out right now at about the 15-minute mark. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, and above all, happy trading.